Well, Mabel and Ash has just recently opened up in Scottsdale. We've been enjoying their Sunday brunches, everything going on. But of course, what is happening now has uh, pretty much moved them into a new direction. So that's why we're talking with Danny Grant, who's one of the executive chefs and partners, who's actually headquartered in Chicago of Maple and Ash. Danny, how are you? I'm doing well with all things considered. Yeah, you know, this is interesting that um, everybody has had to uh, make adjustments in their restaurants and, and you guys being so popular here in Arizona really has decided to do some different things, haven't you? Yeah, well, our number one goal was obviously we want to be able to feed the people of Scottsdale and Phoenix and we want to be able to figure out a way to um, keep our business alive and keep as many of our employees employed and making money so they can keep their livelihood and pay their rent and eat and all those good things that people need to do. Yeah, you're in the Chicago headquarters right now and you guys have actually gone to a lockdown, but how, how is things affecting you with the restaurant there? Um, so yeah, I'm in Chicago right now. We're on a complete lockdown out here. Um, we've transitioned all of our business to um, curbside pickup and delivery um, service as well. And um, one of the things that we thought was going to be really important to be able to drive revenue in business and to be able to support a lot of people was we came up with an idea to do a dollar for dollar um, purchase and exchange. So every dollar that every customer spends now on pickup or pickup at the restaurants, we're going to reimburse them once everything, the bands are up and we're reopened, that they can come in and you know, spend that money and get a gift card and all that kind of stuff. So I, I love that. So important because, again, it's very hard to get into Maple and Ash, especially in Chicago. So now people can enjoy the food at home, but it's still the great chef preparing it, right? Yeah, that's right. It's like we're, it's like we're making a little trip to your house for you. So I love it. Can you uh, go to the window right now? Because, again, I, the, people have to look out your window here at your corporate office because usually this is, I mean, gridlocked. It, what street is that? So this is uh, State Street and Maple Street and Rush. It's, uh, it's called the Gold Coast, and this area is normally just absolutely slammed with people, and right now it's just a ghost town. So, wow. Let me ask you, how are you doing? Because I know, again, you've been opening up a new restaurant, and that can be very stressful, and now with this going on, but how are you personally doing? I personally am doing great. Um, I think it's one of those things in our industry of our nature and our DNA is that when we find these hard times and these difficult obstacles that we get creative and find ways to overcome them. Um, so that's kind of the approach that we've been taking. And I think, you know, for my whole life, I've been cooking for fun and because I enjoy to cook. And it's finally at the point where I'm cooking because we have to. We're cooking for survival and we're cooking for the livelihood of all of our employees and our staff and and even the people in the community to continue to eat because we need to eat rather than a fancy way to go out to dinner and just enjoy nights with friends. So it's become more of a necessity. Um, all that being said, I don't think you can take the fun out of it. We're still finding ways to laugh and enjoy ourselves and make sure that, you know, when your heart's in it, you can taste it in the food, and it, I think it shows. So I love it. Well, I'll tell you right now, I'm going to start practicing uh, to get ready to come back into Maple Nash by ordering some food and doing the Bobbins uh, mimosas on Sundays. Um, so <laughs> uh, I'll get ready for that. Uh, anything else you want the viewers to know? No, I think that's it. You know, come support us. We're happy and loving being in your amazing city, and we can't wait for this all to be over and back to back to some part of some uh, part of normalcy. So I love it. And hey, my daughter's there in Chicago, so I definitely uh, come visit you once we're able to come and uh, do some flying. How's that sound? Perfect. We'll feed your daughter here and then we'll feed you out in Scottsdale. So that's a, that's a deal. I love it. Thanks, Danny. All right, guys. Thank you so much. See you soon.